this is a video on how to do the U style knitting. Um, I've not done it before, so this will be an experience for all of us. The manual in a brother. <coughs> um, I don't profess to know how to do it on a Knitmaster Silver Reed etc. machine. Uh, the manual tells you you must have the same number of needles on the river as you have on the uh, main bed which means that you will, as you've got your ribber on half pitch, you will have a ribber needle on the outside. So don't worry about that. It tells you to cast on with ravel cord. And I'm doing this on a slightly tighter tension because my ravel cord doesn't seem to connect properly otherwise. So knit a row across with the ravel cord. check that's caught there and I usually hang a clip on the end and let's get this uh, ravel cord out of the way I'm sat on the other end of it I'm not doing very well here. I'm just trying to get the rubble cord out of the way and I'm managing to catch it on just about everything. Right. It then says to hang your comb and weights. Now this is going to give you an open cast on edge and the only way to get rid of that as far as I'm aware is to do an e-wrap on the main bed and then an e-wrap on the river bed because if you don't, um, as I say, it's just going to be an open and we'll start unravelling uh, unless you are going to kitchener the ends together no you won't be kitcheneing the ends together I don't quite know what you do but you would have to um, as I say do, do a, a closed cast on which would be an e-wrap so I'm now going to thread the main yarn down the hole if it will go I'm going to set the carriage to a stocking stitch tension because that's basically what we're knitting and I'm knitting with four ply here so I'll stick it on seven the same on the ribber you have to be aware that you, you'd have to do various test swatches because the ribber tends to knit at a slightly different tension to the main bed um, so you could end up with one bit shorter than the other so you would have to experiment but this is just the basics of how to do it uh, your first two rows are the same as you do for tubular rows which is the left hand button in and the right hand part button up and knit two rows one just hold those ends there and two make sure that comes down I think I've lost a 
bit of ravel cord there but never mind then for the next two rows you alternate so you push that one in that one down and that one up and knit two rows And then swap them back again so every two rows you alternate the buttons that you have so I'm going to knit a few rows and take it off the machine and see what it's so, like. Here it is as I've just uh, released it off the machine. Um, as you can see, it's two sided. Um, let's see what happens when I pull the uh, river wire out. And uh, sort of hope for the best. So when you take that bit off, so I'm imagining that you can, I'm not quite sure what you can do with it now. Um, that's where you cast on. So if you take this out now, it's going to start unravelling. Um, So, yeah, you would definitely have to, uh, let, let's pull that out and see, uh, where's the beginning, and see what happens. There's my short end there. So there, there you have your double width, but obviously you've got your raw edge bottom there, which will unravel, but you have got, I cast on 40 stitches, so I've now got 80 stitches worth of knitting. And whether they're the same length or not, I don't know, but yeah, you would have to... Uh, You'd have to, that's what it came off the machine like you would have to e-wrap um, and maybe knit, knit, knit a row just knit the rib say and then knit back and just knit the um, main bed having your both part buttons on when you knit across. I'll have to experiment with that a bit more, but that, that's basically it really. Not quite sure I could think of why I'd ever want to do it. I, all you're getting is plain stockinette. I mean, if you wanted to do a wide blanket, you'd, you'd do a textured stitch or double jacquard and, and join panels, I would have thought. Anyway, hope that was informative. <laughs>